as the country continues to weather the COVID-19 storm. The action of a few hawkers here in the country and what many have termed the greed for profits could lead to the spike of COVID-19 cases here in the country. Madaraka area in Langata constituency has been the talk of the town for days. What many termed the unthinkable was slowly manifesting into a reality. We have received disturbing news that some unscrupulous persons are recycling face masks after collecting them from beans and selling them to unsuspecting Kenyans. In particular, we've noticed the recycling of the surgical masks and we've seen different pictures in social media. Ibru TV went an extra mile to unmask the ignorance that some unscrupulous traders exhibit in order to make a quick dime. It is a nine-second video clip whose impact on many Kenyans has lasted for a longer duration. The middle-aged man believed to hail from Kibra constituency, according to some of the residents we spoke to, has dented the image of the area. Kibera has been identified and we shall also have prioritized testing in that cluster. According to some traders in the informal sector, the man comes there every Tuesday and Friday to wash used surgical masks that he opts to sell in Kibra. The traders who sought anonymity said that the locals living around there are planning to take matters into their own hands even as security operators have been surveying the area for the said and scrupulous trader. However, the person who took the video said they did not want to be captured on camera but revealed the location where the deed was taking place. The video, which made rounds on social media, was posted by Brian, not his real name, on the 16th of this month. On social media, the acts of the Said Hoka attracted both criticism and sympathy in equal measure, with the critics pointing out that the acts could lead to the increase of cases of COVID-19 here in the country, while the sympathizers were pointing out that circumstances forced him to resort to barbaric means of putting food on the table. The video elicited mixed reactions online, but one concerned Kenyan reached out to Brian, fearing that she might have been duped in buying masks that, according to her, were unhygienic. After I posted the viral video, I actually got a DM from a concerned citizen who actually bought from one of them. The citizen said that he actu she actually bought it from them and paid via the M-Pesa. When I got to the WhatsApp group in Donikona, those forwards. When I saw the forward, I will come retweet. So I come DM. I come by the way, I live around Madaraka. I think the people who are post ni are in news. The concerned citizen who sought anonymity lives around Madaraka area and she purchased masks from unknown traders in the area a day after the said hoka was ousted. I've never gotten his own masks. So nikirudi kwa nyumba nika nikaona huyo mtu akiuza mask so nikamuita I asked the price he said 50 bob as in normally zenye nilikuwa na nilikuwa na 150 that was a red flag i think according to Jerry upon buying the masks she observed that the standard and hygiene of the masks were questionable and she refused to buy so kunitolea kunipatia kwa ages it was like dirty, really dirty. So mina muliza, ah, isn't the mask that you know there watu? And I nembia eh. Ni na chakupioni kwa ni 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 amani material because unajua hizo materials kwa different. Kuna anona hii ya ni ni. Hii ya white. Hii ya kukapa hii. Eh. Kuna zani hapa ziko na kapa na material different kutoka hii lengi hii andani. However, the trader insisted that he can call another trader who will bring her other masks for her to consider. 
Nikamwambia nisi ziba hizo. Akaniambia basi wacha nikuitie mtu mwingine pia anauza. When the other guy came zake zilikuwa zimefung as in I think it's a trick they're using. We sought to call the trader and purchase the same masks that Injeri purchased from them. The state of the masks raised red flags, especially at the edges, as they were dirty, according to Njeri. Begging the questions, are masks being sold on the street causing more harm than good? Who will ensure that the masks being sold on the street will reduce the chances of you getting infected? According to experts, such kind of acts endangers the health of Kenyans who are buying masks that they believe will help them in preventing the spread of COVID-19. And there must be a particular point of where we are getting this mask. There must be a controlled way of disposing. Like we should know, once you use your mask, how do we dispose it and which category of people corrects it so that we can actually be able to destroy them so that they are not reused. The management of Magathi Hospital has refuted claims that the face masks being recycled and later sold by hawkers are from the facility. The hospital's board chair, Dr. Jojo Sewe, has dismissed the claims, saying the facility burns all its waste. It's a bit worrying because now we are required to wear them. People can't afford. So maybe if cabs can actually come in and ensure the hookers are say, selling quality masks and not used masks. I urge Kenyans to undertake basic due diligence on face masks that they are buying so that they do not fall victim. What I would like also to advise uh, Kenyans is they should be wary of people who are hawking uh, loose uh, face masks. Those that are being hawked, remember there is constant exposure to microorganisms in the outside there. There is constant uh, also exposure to the person who is who's holding. Might be there is a risk uh, of also people even fitting, trying to fit themselves into those face masks. Many have called upon the Kenya Bureau of Standards to set out measures ensuring that some of the masks being sold on the streets are up to standards as the disease has infected over 300 people so far. What you need to ask yourself here, our dear viewers, are the masks that you're buying on the street will help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Abdezizashim, Ibru TV, Nairobi County.